Senator Paul, welcome back to Meet the Press. Good morning, glad to be here. Let's get right to the debate of the day, and that is over the future of Iraq. Last year on this program, we were talking about Syria, and at that time, you said there was no clear-cut American interest. Do you see a clear-cut American interest in Iraq? I see mostly confusion and chaos, and I think some of the chaos is created from getting involved in the Syrian civil war. You have to realize that some of the Islamic rebels that we've been supporting are actually allies of the group that is now in Iraq causing all this trouble. But I see that in the Syrian civil war, we're sending arms and opposing Iranian proxies. Now they want, some people want us to get involved allied with Iranian Guard, even maybe fighting alongside But the before Iranian you get Guard. to that, ISIS as a terrorist organization has been billed by many as a clear and present danger to the United States as a right. terrorist actor. Do you see that? I look at it on a personal basis. I ask, do I want to send one of my sons or your son to fight to regain Mosul? And I think, well, yeah, these are nasty terrorists. What, shouldn't we want to kill them? But I think, who should want to stop them more? Maybe the people who live there. Should not the Shiites, the Maliki government, should they not stand up? And if they're ripping their uniforms off and fleeing, if they don't think Mosul's worth saving, how am I going to convince my son or your son to die for Mosul? I, I know they're bad terrorists, and yes, we should prevent them from exporting terror, but I'm not so sure where the clear-cut American interest is. Well